Hello, it's Lisa from Mythical Witchery. For those who've never been here before, welcome to my channel. For those who have, welcome back. Today I'm doing part three of a three-part series on Halloween decks. So we'll be comparing the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot and the Trick-or-Treat Tarot. So starting with the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot, this is published by Los Garabeo. It's in a, a little tuck box. This was published in 2021. I paid 18 pounds for this. I believe it sells for about 25 US dollars on Amazon.com. It comes with a standard little white book that gives basic information on the cards. This comes in four languages, which is very typical for a low Scarabeo deck, English, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. So you get just the basic information, which for those who are really familiar with tarot, that's more than enough. The backs of the cards look like this. As you can see, they are not reversible. The Trick or Treat Tarot is published by Llewellyn. This was published in 2022. I paid 28 pounds for this. It sells for 32 pounds, or sorry, 32 US dollars. This is a sturdy box with a magnetic closure. comes with this very typical Llewellyn guidebook, which is full color. All of the cards are represented with a full page in color, and then it goes into the description of the cards with keywords and reverse meanings. This comes with a number of spreads at the back. First of all, it's 205 pages, and there's a whole section on spreads, all of them Halloween themed. So you've got a four card trick or treat, a six card haunted house spread, a four card messages from the other side, a five card gathering the harvest, and then basic one card and three card spreads a horseshoe spread, a making a choice spread, yes and no, and a standard Kelter cross. So it's really a fantastic guidebook. When you compare it to this one, there's really no comparison. This does not give any spreads at all. It just gives the very basic meanings of the cards and no reversed meanings. The cardstock First I'll show you the back of the cards for the trick or treat. So they are reversible. That's the inside of the box. Quite cute. So comparing sizes actually to start with, if you stand these decks up together, you'll see that the Trick or Treat Tarot is quite a bit thicker than the Jack Lantern Tarot. So that obviously suggests that the Jack Lantern Tarot is a much thinner cardstock. For sizes, we'll compare that to the standard Rider weight. The Trick or Treat Tarot is, I'll turn that over so you can see, is just slightly smaller than a standard Rider weight. And I'll give you specifics in a moment. The Trick or Treat Tarot 
again, is significantly smaller than the standard Rider Waite Smith Tarot. So for those who like specific measurements, we will do that. So this is just a hair under 70 millimeters by about 117 millimeters, where a Rider Waite Smith is about 120. And in inches, it is three, sorry, two and three quarter by about four and five eighths inches. The trick or treat tarot starting with metric, measures about 65 millimeters by about 117. And in inches, just slightly over two and a half by just over four and a half. So the cardstock itself, the Llewellyn is very, very typical Llewellyn cardstock. It's glossy. The jack-o'-lantern is a little thinner. It feels slightly stiffer to me. And it is also a fairly glossy stock. Starting with the Fool. Now, as you can see, there's quite a different feel to these decks. The Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. I love this one. She's in this kangaroo costume with her babies and her little pouch. The Emperor. The Hierophant. Here he's got all these little ones gathered around him, presumably so that they can hear his words of wisdom. Hopefully they're interested. You know, this sort of reminds me a little bit of Mr. Dress Up, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the sweater. <laughs> the Lovers. The chariot. Look at the look at the face on <laughs> Oh, that's the cat in the hat. I just realized that. <laughs> Strength. Vibes of beauty and the beast. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm not really getting wheel of this, but I guess fortune because he is throwing out all this candy. So yeah, that still works. That still works. Justice. It looks like that little guy from Monopoly. And of course, Lady Liberty. The Hanged Man.
ちゃいます。Temperance。The devil. The tower. Oh, Frankenstein pulling his little lever and exploding that tower. The star. The moon. We have the dog and the wolf skeletons. Hmm. The sun. Represented here, of course, with the sunflower. Judgment. The world. And of course, if we circle back to the fool, you can see this little guy is just starting out. His bucket is empty and he hasn't even started to trick or treat yet. And here he is back home again with his bursting bucket, looking quite proud of himself. <laughs> I love that. I really love that. Okay. And moving into the minors. And we have the wands with the ace. Looks like a spine or something here. And the two. Quite a grim card here. With the brains and goodness. Enough to give you nightmares. The three of wands. Oh gosh. I just noticed it looks like his eye has come out of his head there. Oh my, that's a bit grisly. <laughs> oh, there's a Halloween deck, so <laughs> what do you expect? And the Four of Wands. The Five. The Six. The seven. The eight. The nine of wands. Ten. The page. The Knight of Wands. The Queen. King of Wands. I just realized this is his coffin, but here it's a chair. Off throne, obviously. <laughs> That's quite interesting. And moving into the suit of cups. And we have the two. The Three of Cups. The Four.
the Five of Cups. The six. Seven of Cups. The eight. Nine of Cups. The Ten. The Page. Queen of Cups, and the King. He looks quite relaxed there, doesn't he? Swamp monster. <laughs> and moving into the Swords. And the two. That means he's sitting on the tombstone here. The three of swords. Oh, that's a pumpkin that's been all smashed up. And the four. Here's in the coffin. The five. The six. And the Seven of Swords. Eight. This is obviously from some film, Mummy's Curse, possibly. Something like that. The Nine of Swords. The Ten. The Page. With his little plague mask on. <laughs> Queen of Swords. And the King. And moving into the Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. The Five. This, this man I 
much as to give the feel of the five pentacles very well, doesn't it? You know, these two kids are standing outside this house. They're not sure if they should be going in there or not. It certainly doesn't, at first glance, seem very inviting to them. And yet, you know, with the lights and so on. So this, this does manage to give the feel, I think, of the Five of Pentacles. Where, you know, this you get some of it as well. I think both decks do a fairly good job of representing the original Rider Waite Smith. With a little bit of... Uh, imagination in some cards. That's the six. And the seven. I'm not sure exactly who he's supposed to be. I want to say Captain America, <laughs> but I'm probably totally wrong. And the eight. nine the ten of pentacles the page night the queen and the king all right so we're going to start with the jack-o-lantern tarot and I, as I said, they seemed a little stiff to me. But they shuffle quite well, really. For those that do, a full ripple shuffle. I think you'll find this quite easy to shuffle. They're a little slippery, but not too bad at all. The trick or treat tarot. You can expect this to be pretty much like most other Llewellyn decks. And it is, of course. It's got lots of bounce to it. Riffle shuffle would be very easy with this. Overhand. It's great. So when I look at these two decks, the jack-o'-lantern tarot has this almost grainy old world look to it. Reminds me of some of the paintings of the great masters. And that is an art style that is going to definitely appeal to a lot of people. I'm personally not crazy about it. The trick or treat tarot. Oh, this is definitely more my style. Um, it's fun, even though it's grim, it's still lighthearted. Nice bright colors. Out of these two decks, I think it's obvious which one is my favorite. Um, and that would be the trick or treat, of course. What do you think? Which of these two decks do you prefer? Have you got either of these decks in your collection? Have you been thinking about adding either one of them? If so, I hope this flip through helped you to come to a decision. I've made two other videos comparing the Trick or Treat Tarot to the Halloween Tarot and the Jack-o'-lantern Tarot to the Halloween Tarot as well. So check those out if you haven't already seen them. 
I will be linking both of those other videos so they'll be easy for you to find. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please share them in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful at all, please give it a like. That would really help my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very sorry that the bean didn't come to say hello. <laughs> I know so many of you love Jelly Bean. I tend to get more comments about him than almost anything else. He is definitely the star of the show. Thank you again for joining me today. I will see you again soon. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.